process utilized to change certain characteristics of metals and alloys to make them more suitable for a particular kind of application in our daily life. Heat treatment also greatly influences mechanical properties such as strength, hardness, utility, toughness, and wear resistance. The heat treatment depends on ferrous or non-ferrous alloy. Heat treatment techniques include annealing, case hardening, precipitation, strengthening, tempering, and pinching. Hardening is the process that involves the formation of martensite. It is performed to impart the strength and hardness of the steel. The steel is heated in a standard region for sufficient time and then rapidly quenched to produce the martensite. Martensite is brittle and hard which lack of toughness but so limited in use. The term annealing refers to a heat treatment which material is exposed to an elevated temperature for an extended time period and then slowly cooled. This heat treatment process is carried out to get the soft and ductile metal so that it can be cold work and machine. However, it is an expensive treatment. The normalizing heat treatment for steel consists of heating with an austenite region and cooling steel air which produces a structure containing fine perlite. Fun fact, normalized steel are more stronger and less ductile than any steel. Tempering is a heat treatment process that removes with brittleness and increased toughness. In steel, tempering is done to toughen the metal by transforming the brittle martensite into tempered martensite. If we bend a piece of steel back and forth, it undergoes work hardening. The working rearranges the inner structure of the material. It becomes more and more brittle and eventually snaps. Heat treatment can modify the properties of steel and minimize the effects of work hardening. This steel needle is tough and springy. Let's see what happens if it's heated to red heat, then left to cool slowly. This is called annealing. After annealing, the needle bends. And notice that it stays bent. It's lost its springiness. Let's now heat another needle, but then cool it rapidly. This is called quenching. It's now hard and brittle. This needle was also quenched. Now we'll heat it moderately till it just begins to change colour. Then let it cool slowly. This process is called tempering. Tempering removes brittleness while retaining the hardness required in the material. These golf clubs have been tempered to reduce brittleness but retain the other qualities of the steel. The crystalline structure produced by quenching is called martensitic after a metallurgist called martens. Annealing, slow cooling, produces a different structure that's called austenitic after another metallurgist named Austin. We are going to look at the physical properties of carbon steels. In choosing the carbon content, you are making a choice about hardness, strength and toughness.